Hi friends, welcome to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Caitlin and I like to film eyeshadow palette ranking and review videos, as well as the occasional other content sprinkled in. So if you like indie makeup, if you like eyeshadow palettes, if you like me, I highly recommend that you hit that subscribe button because I post two videos every single week. And for those of you that are not new here, my face is happy that you are seeing it again. So I'm excited. It is going to be a quick one, but I couldn't resist giving you first impressions, thoughts, and a look with this palette from Adept. So all of that to say, let's go ahead and get on into it. Let's talk about the palette first. So we have a, um, it is a pressed pigment and eyeshadow palette. So there are shades that are not safe for use around the um, eye area per US guidelines, but on the Adept site, it does specifically say that these are safe per EU guidelines. So do with that what you will. I believe it is nine total shades. Let me see. Nine shades are cons in, out of 15. So it is over half the palette. There are no, uh, I don't believe there's talc, mica, or parabens um, in here, but there is aluminum. So if you're allergic to that, just know that. Uh, 12 month open container, net weight is 0.2 or two grams each times 15. So I think it's like 30 grams total. And um, cruelty free and vegan. It is made in China, distributed by Adept out of the US, I believe. There we go. <laughs> Here is the palette. I love when they do this faux leather packaging. I just think it's so nice. I have swatched this, so this palette looks a little bit messy already, but here is the inside in the event you haven't seen it, although I'm sure you have. So I'm a little late to the game. Um, but yeah, I just, I debated on picking this up because it launched, I think like a week after my son was born and I was just like, am I really gonna, am I really gonna like do like play with eyeshadow right now like probably not but i caved because they had hollows in here and i was like "Ooh, i gotta try those they looked so sparkly um i did have somebody ask me the hollows in this palette compared to the hollows in sumerian sunset and if i can find sumerian sunset i forgot i had it because i pulled the shade out for my whatchamacallit for my twilight byop that i never finished using i'll be honest I didn't know there were hollows in this palette. I think Tal Shiar is the only hollow, right? Are there other ones? You guys will have to tell me in the comments, but I'm gonna swatch this one because I can tell this is a hollow for sure. Super smart. This is actually one of my favorite shades in this palette, so good to know. <laughs> um, okay, and then I'm gonna compare it to, I'm gonna do pixelated, bleh, let's do mechanical muse. This one feels smoother than the one in Sumerian Sunset. Let me try binary beat. Yeah, they, they feel like smoother, like not quite as thick. They feel smoother, not quite as thick, a little bit more sheer, I would say, than the one in Sumerian Sunset, um, but all have really gorgeous rainbow sparkles. So now let's go ahead and do a, a super quick look with this palette. I uh, did prime my lids with the About Face Shadow Fix Primer. Um, that is one of my favorite primers. I got away from using it and was using the Hourglass one for a while, but ran out of that, still have some shadow fix. So that's what we're gonna go with. Uh, okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the shade Robotic Fusion, which is this purple down here. And I guess I'm just gonna blend that into the crease. I don't know, I didn't really think about what I wanted to do today, so. If you are curious, I am wearing the Winnie wig from Chelsea Smith crowns. I'm not sure if this is still available. I want to say it's sold out, but you can always stock Chelsea Smith, see if they plan to restock her soon, if you like it. I know she has a, st a style called Aniston. That's kind of similar as well, if you're wanting that 90s vibe. Also, I filmed a wig collection video forever ago. My wig collection has definitely changed since then. Um, and I just recently decluttered a whole bunch and have kind of like bought a lot. <laughs> so let me know if you'd want to see that. It could be fun. Alrighty, I'm going to go in with the shade Synthetic Soundwave, which is the burgundy shade down in the bottom corner. We're going to deepen the crease with that. These mattes feel really nice. I think I've said this in my last couple of Adept reviews that I feel like they've really gotten better on their matte formula. It used to not be my favorite, but I think since like Sumerian Sunset, I've had a good time with the mattes. And 
I feel like I had more of an issue with the color story on the arrow inspired. So maybe it's been since that one that I've really felt like their mats have been solid. I can't remember. I really like the combination of that purple and that like burgundy shade. I think they really pair nicely together. And you could definitely use these pinky shimmers with this look. I think it would be so pretty and lean a little bit more on the wearable side if you are kind of afraid of color. I mean, you're still wearing purple, but I feel like I feel like purple can be a little bit more wearable um, compared to like yellow or green. Uh, you know, green can, I feel like purple and green are probably the two colors that are the easiest to consider wearable. Maybe pink too. Okay, which I feel like this leans a little pink with that burgundy shade. Anyways, so pink shimmers, I feel like you could absolutely do. We're not gonna do that. We're gonna do something different. I really wanna use Binary Beat. It's one, it was my favorite shade when I swatched the palette, so I gotta use it, right? I don't know if it goes with this, but we're gonna do it anyway. I am gonna pick this up on a brush and then spray my brush with Fix Plus just to, that's how I like to use it, but sometimes I know on a depth site they'll tell you that a glitter primer will tend to work better. I actually don't have Fix Plus, so I'm gonna use this Rare Beauty setting spray. I need to re-up on my Fix Plus. Yeah, if you use a glitter primer, you're gonna have a lot less uh, glitter fallout than I'm getting right now, or even Fix Plus sprays more than the Rare Beauty one does, so I don't know that it's actually doing anything. I'm gonna just go ahead and use my finger. Oh, that is such a pretty shade. I love that. Absolutely gorgeous, stunning. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm just gonna go straight in with my finger on the other eye. If you didn't want follow, I would say definitely have a glitter primer down and then go in with your finger. I feel like that's gonna be the easiest for these shades. Oh, it feels like a party on my eyelids. I love that. Okay, and then just because I want to and I can, I'm gonna take the yellow shimmer and put that on my inner corner, but I think I'm gonna clean this all up and do my base makeup first and then come in for the inner corner at the end to show you. Yeah. So now I'm gonna take the yellow shimmer, which is Cyber Symphony. And we're gonna put that on the inner corner and the shade's kind of flaky, so when you go to pick it up, it sort of picks up in pieces. So it's a little bit messy, but that's all right. And it is a bright yellow. I mean, that's basically the look. <laughs> so I'm gonna do lashes and lips and, you know, basically just finish this off and I'll show you the finished look. Here is the finished look. Let me know what you think in the comments. Um, but let me chat about my thoughts on this Cyborg Choir palette. So first things first, this shimmer in particular is uh, a little messy, flaky textured. Binary bead is similar. Both of these I think are easier application if you use your finger, picking them up on a brush, they get kind of flaky and crumbly, but you can't deny that they look good. So um, that's just the kind of texture you have. Some of the shades in here feel like a lot smoother, like pixelated Pulse and Mechanical Muse. I haven't tried to pick them up with a brush yet, so they might be similar, but they just feel really smooth. When I swatched them, Cybernetic Spark felt like the thickest, chunkiest kind of texture to it, um, but it's a really gorgeous shade. So I think you're gonna get like a really thick application with that one, but it is very bright, but very, br very vibrant and beautiful. That's what I was trying to say. Anyways, um, I'm gonna definitely play with this one more. If you haven't seen the series on my channel, but I do a Makeup Diaries series where every time I do my makeup, if it's not for a dedicated video like this, I will insert a little clip into like a vlog type of thing where I just tell you what's on my face each day. Um, so I will definitely be playing with this more before I give my full thoughts. With Adept in particular, I've noticed that there's certain shimmer formulas that they have that crease really badly on me and some shimmer formulas that don't crease that badly on me. So I definitely wanna play around with this just because I know for me personally, there's some variety in how the shimmers perform from, from the brand for me. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Uh, let me know if you picked up this palette or what your thoughts were on the look in the comment section down below, and I will see you all next time. Bye!